Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a very good look at the forecast. And as we go into the rest of everything going on for tonight, chilly conditions out there. And again, a freeze warning in effect for portions of the Mid-South as we go into Monday and possibly around early, early Tuesday. Could be the possibility of some rain mixed with snow in the Mid-South area. Doesn't look like anything accumulating right now, but once again, we'll be keeping a very very close eye on that forecast, so we've got to stay tuned for more on that changeable situation. For Veterans Day, if you are tuning in to see what's going on for outdoors tomorrow for the holiday, and again, a very big thank you to all the veterans out there, again, still with us, and again, anybody who's still in the service, a big thank you for wearing the uniform of your country and doing what's necessary to keep us all safe out there, no matter what you do and no matter what branch of service you are in. Thank you very much from all of us here at News Channel 3. If you've got anything in the way of weather pictures, we'd love to see more about those, plus drop your location and whatever weather reports you've got. I'll just bet high temperatures today, no matter where you were in the Mid-South area, were not all that warm out there. So looking again at the possibility, some pretty chilly conditions tonight. We'll talk about the frost potential out there coming up in just a little bit. So drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section, and we'll read those coming up here in just a little bit. Can't stick around for all of our weather blog. That's cool. Go to this website address for this forecast at wreg.com slash weather, or just read what's in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, scrolling along quite nicely there for you to take a look at and see what's going on. Official high temperature in Memphis today, 43 degrees, 22 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Big push of cold air making its way into the Mid-South and doing a very good job of keeping the temperatures well below normal. So not much of anything is going to be changing again for tomorrow. A little bit warmer, not by much, but one once again, a uh, possibility of seeing some cooler weather over the next several days. No rainfall today, nearly 10 inches above normal for the year. So plenty of rainfall, and we're only about a third of the way done with November, which is the rainiest month for this area of the country. If you're just tuning in uh, and watching, again, we're in Memphis, Tennessee, USA. For those of you who are outside the uh, borders into that area, so thanks a lot for stopping by. Joe Craig Sanders, Alliance, Nebraska, cold but no snow. Spoke to my mom back in Topeka, Kansas last night, and she had about two inches of snow and some pretty brutal wind chills up that direction, so thanks a lot for stopping on by. Ferris Mogi, what did you do with summer and bright evenings? I didn't do anything Thing, normal way of doing stuff. If I ruled the world, every day would be the first day of spring, but thank you for asking on that. Welcome to everybody else who's tuning in again for this evening. Clear and 28 in Savannah. Michael and Tabitha Neal, welcome to the show, and thank you for that. Stan Tubbs, bread and milk time getting closer. Uh, if you're going to the grocery store, please pick me up some root beer. I'm running low. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, where did that go? Norman McIntosh, I want snow. Straightforward, to the point. Thank you very much. You may get some if you're in the Mid-South in the next couple of days. We'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. Norman McIntosh, Long Island, 20s tonight. Uh, wave hello to my cousin Alex over in the Bronx. Uh, he's very close to your location uh, into the area. 30 degrees in Eureka Springs, Mississippi. April Hints. Thank you very much for that one. Big River Crossing across the Mississippi River. Lit up quite nicely for tonight. Riverside Drive, Tom Lee Park, Beale Street intersection. Quiet traffic moving along quite nicely down that direction, so no major problems there. View from our transmitter tower camera looking back towards Sycamore View and I-40 in East Memphis back toward the flyover. Visibility is good, a little bit of patchy haze, a little bit of moisture in the atmosphere. Not much, but just enough to cause problems with frost into overnight. Now, we don't have anything going on in the way of rainfall across the Mid-South area for now, but in about another 36 hours, it's a good possibility we may see more of those showers coming back our direction. We'll talk more about that in the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. So much of what we're going to be seeing at this time in our next storm system, still way out into the Rockies, so it's not affecting us at least just for right now. Jennifer Schultz from Calgary, Alberta. Canada. Welcome from uh, north of the border, and thanks for checking on through uh, into that area. If that's anywhere near Banff National Park, I would love to get back up that direction and take a look and see what that looks like up that way. Scott Jarvis, Banner, Mississippi, 32 degrees, feels like 29, winds out of the north at 3. 
decently nice wind chill, not as bad as it could be out there. So thank you very much uh, for checking in. 33, Collierville, Ronnie Williams, thank you. And 32 in Toon, Tennessee, Shannon Lane, thank you very much for that one. This is our storm system up this direction as it moves our direction in the next couple of days. That's what could give us both the possibility of rain. And then as the colder air wraps around what's left of that system, that could give us some rain mixed with snow as we go into Tuesday morning. Doesn't look like much for right now, but again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more. The National Weather Service in Memphis has pared back the freeze warning. It used to be for all of the News Channel 3 viewing area back up into northwest Tennessee, the Boot Hill, northeast Arkansas. It's now been pared back to the southernmost counties in the viewing area. Last night was basically, for all intents and purposes, a season-ending killing frost for the Mid-South. So the cold air took, play, took basically all the growing season, uh, any potential of that, out of the Mid-South area for right now. And the southernmost counties, we're looking down toward Coahoma, Quitman, Panola, Lafayette counties in Mississippi. Those are under a freeze warning tonight. Again, this will be the best possibility of heavy frost for areas who have not had a killing frost just yet. The rest of the viewing area doesn't have it, but this area, including the metro, will also have, again, some pretty good frost areas into and around the rest of the evening tonight, into and around, again, Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. So if you still have any plants in this area which are outside and surviving from last night's cold, going to have to cover them up again or bring them indoors again, as I did my tomato plants earlier for tonight. So something to think about there if you have anything going on. Wayne Bubba Ayers, 32 in Atoka, Tennessee. I was just up that direction earlier this week. Thank you very much for the weather report there. Wind chills, not bad, but noticeable. Lower 30s for temperatures right now, and some wind chills dropping into the 20s at times. Rest of the evening, the winds again coming in from the east-northeast, and as we go into around daybreak tomorrow morning, computer gets a little bit over-eager at putting some rainfall potential in here. I'm not seeing anything for Sunday at this time. I'm thinking mainly the computer is overestimating a very dry atmosphere and showing the cloud cover as rain falls. That should not be happening. We'll get that fix coming up a little bit later on. But in the meantime, should be just cloudy skies increasing throughout the rest of Sunday and should be a little bit warmer tomorrow back into the mid to upper 40s to around the lower to mid 50s. So we will be looking at the potential of, again, some nicer weather where the temperatures are concerned. Not a lot, but at least we'll be a little bit warmer than today anyway. And through tomorrow night, again, temperatures by News Channel 3 at 10 dropping into the lower mid 40s as we reach the end of Veterans Day, the holiday coming up for tomorrow. Now, going ahead by just a little bit, at least I hope we do. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Computer appears to be getting a little cantankerous here. Now, as we go into Monday evening, what's left of the rainfall? We'll be encountering the drier air coming down from the north, so the rain Monday night into Tuesday should be eroding pretty quickly, but the rain in the green and the possibility of some light snow showers mixed in could be making its way through the Mid-South as we go into very early Tuesday morning. Accumulation, again, a little early to tell at this point, so it doesn't look likely that we're going to be getting any Anything huge. Matter of fact, we may not be getting too much of anything. The best possibility for anything going on in the way of precipitation will be going back to the north of us and into and around portions of the upper Midwest. So anything along, say, Interstate 70, back to the north of that, that'll be the best possibility of getting anything measurable on the ground. Here in the Mid-South area, probably not going to be looking at too much of anything else in the way of major problems uh, into and around the area for right now. Rob Smith, how much of a bonus do we get from the milk and bread guys for saying the four-letter word? Uh, again, officially, if there is, in fact, a meteorologist grocery store uh, connection in that forecast area, I've never been invited to that party ever in my entire life. So if it exists, I'm not a member of that organization. But thank you very much for bringing that up and appreciate that. Rest of the day into tomorrow for the Veterans Day holiday. Again, temperatures a little bit warmer, but still way below normal. So very cool out there. And the clouds will be on the increase throughout the rest of the day. So sunshine, maybe a little bit in the morning, but then mostly cloudy as we go towards sunset for tomorrow. So for Veterans Day itself, 
any outdoor dedication, remembrance ceremonies, anything like that going on to honor our veterans doesn't look like a problem for tomorrow. Now, on Monday, the holiday will be observed as a federal holiday. So, again, much of the government shut down for, again, the possibility of rainfall out there. This is going to be the main thing that we see out there for the area, but it's going to be pretty chilly. Temperatures on Monday for Veterans Day observed will be only going into and around the lower to mid 40s for highs. So definitely a day to think about some uh, hot soup or anything else like that. Maybe some stews going on. Uh, probably going to be firing up the crock pot at House Onik at some point in time. I made a really good chicken noodle soup yesterday that came in pretty handy. So if my daughter's watching, that's at the house and waiting for you there. Temperatures on Tuesday as that rain-snow mixture, what there might be of it, clears out. Highs on Tuesday as the kids get back to school, only in the mid to upper 30s across much of the area. And looking at clearing skies and some pretty cold temperatures out there, could see some upper 20s early Wednesday morning. And then throughout the rest of the week, warmer but still cooler than normal back in the lower to mid 50s. And as we go into the rest of the forecast, could be seeing again some temperatures closer to normal, way on over into middle to end parts of November, right before we hit Thanksgiving. So not doing too bad on the temperatures, but at least we'll be looking again for the numbers to increase by just a little bit. And as an added bonus, as for anybody traveling before the Thanksgiving Day holiday coming up in the next couple of weeks, so far we look to have a very dry spate of days. doesn't look all that anything in the way of heavy amounts of rainfall, minus what we get in the next couple of days here. No severe weather expected. Good news on that, and hopefully good news as we get closer to Thanksgiving coming up in the next couple of weeks out there. So that also, again, should not be too much of a problem. Good news into the tropics. Not much going on. We do have a disorganized wave making its way just north of South America, wandering its way back to the west-northwest. National Hurricane Center earlier today giving this about a 30% chance of development and should be heading into the Bahamas as we head toward the end of the week. So far, again, that's great news, but again, we need to watch this carefully. We are not out of hurricane season just yet. We will be on December the 1st, but until then, this still has the potential to uh, develop into something else, so we definitely want to keep an eye on that, especially if you're heading to Florida or the East Coast states anytime soon, this could be a bit of a problem into and around the area as we go throughout the next several days. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and the weather experts for more on that for right now. Uh, Norman McIntosh, how will the New York weather be for the parade? A little bit outside of our purview, but as far as I know, it looks fairly okay for that area if I remember the forecast correctly. I was going to try to advise my cousin in the Bronx to let him know what's going on up that direction. Adrian Smith, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you very much for the uh, kind words out there. I do appreciate that. Uh, Eddie Spain, temperatures will drop into the teens tonight at 19 degrees. Okay, well, that's one good forecast. Not too sure where uh, that's from, but thank you very much for that one. And Betty Levingston, Senatobia, Mississippi, thanks for dropping on by tonight. Thanks to Sarah D. Garland for a beautiful view from Overton Park today. Blue skies, a lot of great foliage out there right now. The peak of the season is basically happening right at this time. From here on out, as it gets colder, we're going to lose the leaves, so right now is the best time to get up and see some of those fall colors out there. Kelvin Gates also picking up some very nice blue skies and the change in foliage going on out there. Thank you very much for that one. And a very frosty morning, SSTF102 on Twitter. Grady Bennett, thank you very much for some of that frost out there and some sunshine beyond looking in that particular location. Rebecca Maddox, beautiful view of sunrise from Bihalia, Mississippi, earlier this last week. Thank you very much again for that one out there. Looking again at some of the other pictures across the Mid-South, Daryl Miller, beautiful view of a rainbow from earlier last week from around Lakeland, looking out the front door in that location. Amanda Hill Tacker at about the same time last weekend, catching not just one, but two rainbows. Beautiful view from around Atoka on early, I believe, Sunday morning, if I'm not mistaken, and I have to send out a big thank you for the invitation to visit uh, Halls Elementary School earlier this week. Jennifer Barber Douglas, very big thank you to you for inviting me to talk to your fifth grade science classes. We talked about meteorology, we talked about astronomy, we talked about journalism, we talked about pseudoscience, we talked about a lot of things out there, very cool stuff, and not only this class, but the rest of the classes had an absolute uh, great time 
have answering and talking about those questions out there. So great opportunity to do so. So Mrs. Douglas, thank you very much uh, for the invitation to Halls Elementary from earlier on this week. If you've got weather pictures around the Mid-South, tweet them, send them in to me by email, post them on my Facebook page. Whatever you've got, we'd love to feature them like we just did. So tweet them or post them or email them along to me as you get them along out there. Once again, for the Veterans Day holiday tomorrow, a bit on the chilly side and also, again, not seeing any rainfall yet, but we will be looking at clouds increasing throughout the course of the rest of the day out there. And again, a big thank you to all the veterans who are still serving out there. Tune in in about a half an hour on my Facebook page. We'll take a look at whether where the troops are, give you an idea as to what the weather is like at some military outposts post around the globe. Uh, currently in Afghanistan, right before sunrise comes up, temperatures in the 30s. 40s and 50s, close to 60 degrees with a few more clouds around Kandahar right now. And we'll take a look at other places around the world, uh, Kosovo, Japan, into and around the Persian Gulf, a lot of those locations. That'll be coming up again at about 8.45 this evening on my Facebook page, my Twitter, and my Periscope account. So if you'd like to see more about that, or if you have friends or loved ones serving overseas, email me and let me know where they are, and we'll try to get as close as we can to a weather report in that area and see if we can feature that on weather where the troops are. Uh, Lopez Rivera, good question. Are we in for a cold winter here in Memphis? Uh, as of right now, it doesn't look that way. It looks like it's going to be pretty right on the money moderate, maybe even a little bit warmer than normal. The Climate Prediction Center is the place to go to uh, for more information on that. If you'd like to see more about that, I'll post some links, or you can, again, email me for more information about that. We should have above normal precipitation, but only just and just a little bit above normal on the temperatures. So that's the main forecast we're getting at for right now. Overly cold doesn't look that way for right now. Again, it's possible, but uh, so far not seeing anything about that, so good news on that. If you got any questions about the forecast, again, please let me know or whatever you, I can help you with on this. If there's something on here on this weather blog that you would like to see, email me and let me know, and we'd love to be able to post that on there to keep you tuning back in again to keep you an idea as to what's going on here in the Mid-South and points beyond. So satellite, climates, whatever you got out there, if you want to see it, email me, tweet me, let me know, and we'll feature it on here on News Channel 3 Weather Over time. Wanda Galloway Chitwood, Sarah, Mississippi, 30 degrees. Thank you very much. Janet from Nesbitt, Mississippi, 30 degrees as well. Appreciate that. And everybody else who stopped by for this evening, thank you for stopping on by. Eddie Goss, thanks to see that you're stopping by, one of our former production people. And thanks for sticking around for the uh, show tonight. Again, more coming up throughout the rest of the weekend. I'll have an update on the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. And of course, I'll have more on News Channel 3 Daybreak, especially about that rain-snow combination heading our way for Monday into Tuesday. Stay tuned for more on that throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on on air and online. Thanks for joining us for our weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Saturday night.